Warhammer 4K Battle Report Orcs versus Tyranids. Matt versus Dan. All right, Stormboys come in. Yeah, Stormboys just dropped in, and they <laughs> rolled 12 on the scatter, but managed to scatter on the opposite end of the Warriors and Hormigons. So they're going to go for two easy kill points right here, and then hopefully they don't get wiped out from the Termagants. Although if they kill the Warriors, that destroys these guys' synapse, which means they'll have to lurk and shoot, unless they want to try to make a Leadership 5 test, which I don't. He's about to tank shock through my Carnifexes, and then unload all of his boys. What's the strength 14 on the, or armor 14 on the front? I'm strength 9. Yeah, so it's a 1 in 3 chance I, I kill you, and a 1 in 3, or 1 in 3 chance I immobilize you. That's true, and then, but you die. Actually, no, 1 in 3 chance I hit you, and then I still have to immobilize you. So they're going to take d d6 strength 10 hits each from its death roller. Death roller. Alright, so this one first, d6. 1. 2 plus. What's the AP on it? So, 3 plus. Oh, he takes a wound. What about this one? Five. Four wounds. Four wounds, three plus save. One wound. So I hurt them both. <laughs> Did you run over a cow? So he ran up and just smashed into this one, tank shocking that Carnifex. D6, strength 10 hits. Four. Two plus to wound. Four wounds. Save, one more wound. He's down to one wound. These three Carnifexes are all alive. Not for long though. See, now it's like, is it the calculated risk? Do I go hide him down here so he's alive? Or do I charge him in and they kill each other? <laughs> and there's one each. He's a knob. So but they both hit at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, I was going to say, you're done moving? <laughs> he's a shot at that Carnifex and completely missed. He's going, for, he's going for the last kill points that he can. Yeah, get it off the table. That's right, that's right. You'd automatically lose because of that. I win! <laughs> should put that into a preview. I win! <laughs> Oh, direct hit. Looted Wagon just fired and hit both these Carnifexes with strength 8. So let's do it one at a time. 2 plus. Nothing. So a wound on that. Four. What's his uh, AP? 3. But it's so, cover. Yeah. I just want to see if I got... Oh, he saved. Oh, so one of them didn't wound and the other one got saved by cover. I was lucky there. So far, so good. Keeping my fingers crossed. Big shoot on this guy and that guy. Nothing. Wow, three ones. Why don't you roll that for your mobilized rolls? So he shot the cannon and it hit the, this guy's rear armor instead. Oh, so close. <laughs> Almost a glancing hit. All right. So far, I'm lucky. That's all for shooting? This guy. Shooting there? Yeah. Twin linked, right? Uh -huh. Good thing. So two hits. What's the strength? Five. So five plus. Two wounds. Three plus. If I fail any of these, that Carnifex is dead. Oh, the card effects is dead. <laughs> That's another kill point. Throw him away. Right. Okay, so 14 plus the big shooter. Oh, here are the two big shooters. Wow. Strength is 5, maybe 5. Three, 3 plus. Two wounds. So one guy left. He just killed both these warriors with these guys. 12 inches, all of them are. Alright, 20 shots, these guys into that. So he's going to get another kill point right here. And these guys fired in these two Hormigots and killed them. Any assaulting? Oh, all the guys in here. Okay. We're all shooting at this Carnifex. All the boys inside here shot at this Carnifex. So far they haven't managed to wound it. Three... Three, three wounds. Oh, Two wounds, you kill him! Yes! He's yes. dead! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, here's my effort. Oh. Fail. Fail. No. No, not even one. Hold on. Uh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's what enough. Shot he shot here. Pretty much. And it missed. I was hoping to scare them away or Take kill it. them both, and nothing happened. Still Four wounds. On this? Yes, that's all I managed to do. Oh, wait, I get to reroll the rest. Right. <laughs> Five, six, seven. That's better. He's dead. Woohoo! Kill point. Right here. Too far. This firing and these now are firing. Nothing. Two. No. Three. One hit. I'm not even going to bother. Because even if he dies, it doesn't matter. Okay. These guys are charging. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Three plus, three rolls. For sure. It all counted. Seriously? No, I'm joking. This is crap. Not on their wounds. Oh, really? 
Yeah, one wound for sure. And then these are saves. That's crap. So none saved? Yeah. How many died there? Eight. Eight. Okay, hit back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus your knob. Thirty. So five plus ten. Four plus five plus. One, two, three, four. How many? Seven died. That's it. You got him. That's another kill point for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good game. Good game indeed. <laughs> okay, so the game's over. Orcs won. Sad to say that the first time we recorded this, I had to lose, but it was definitely a good game. It was very tense. All right, well, it, it was a good game. It was definitely tense the first couple of rounds. I didn't know um, what was gonna happen. Now I'm gonna really have to rethink my strategy. It's my turn to go on the defensive and really rethink my strategy because we're definitely doing this again. I think what made the difference this time is that I, I held back and made Matt move. I don't feel good about him beating me. So I don't care that I beat him the other three times. He's the last person to win. So I've got to come up with a strategy to beat him next time. And when his guys were organized the way I wanted them to, that's when I made my move. And I was able to, to keep out of some charges for the most part. Things I'll do differently next time. The Termagants actually did really well. When they got charged by the trucks, you see, this was actually pretty hard because I think that we both did pretty well with our strategies. However, I invite everybody watching this video to go ahead and post comments what you think I could have done better. Definitely bringing two battle wagons full of uh, shooter boys. Those guys helped a lot, and the death rollers at, at the very end turn, hitting, uh, I think it was a total of eight strength 10 hits on two of his kind effects. Go ahead and just tell me everything that you think I could do better so I can beat Dan next time. Really, I think what won me the game is though, is I, I didn't bring any knobs. I brought in, because knobs are just, they're awesome. But when the enemy has strength eight big blast templates, the, the, like four of them that can rain down on you, Instant death just, just kills them. Doesn't matter how much cyborg or five plus, they're gonna fail them and, and they're just gonna die. Now that Dan's kind of figured out his army, it's gonna be very tough to beat him because that was, I would actually call this pretty much a massacre. Final score is, well, if we continue playing, right now it's like nine to four kill points. So that was nasty. Ha him having those uh, extra dedicated transport thing was really difficult. Although I, we didn't do it, but I could have easily killed that. So I guess I would have had like a fifth kill point. So it's nine to five. Well, he just didn't bother doing it because there's no way I could catch up. But I don't know. I don't know what I could do differently next time. I think my, my configuration, maybe maybe I'll bring more gene stealers next. Maybe I'll try out my all gene stealer army again and bring in all my troop choices being gene stealers. But it's tough because when he gets to shoot, now that he's figured out this whole tactic with putting all shooter boys inside of two battle wagons, that's a very tough thing to crack. So I didn't bring any knob bikers. I didn't bring any knobs in the battle wagon. I just saved all my points to so just and I protected all my boys in, in trucks. And so his, his barb stranglers really did not very much the whole game. And that, that won me the game. That's what it was because he always pounded me so hard. So I was able to avoid the barb stranglers for the most part. And I had a good deep strike late in the game and uh, was able to, to rack up the kill points and uh, get the victory. It was gonna be very interesting what he comes back with because Matt is a, pretty much a master uh, tactician. So. so I have to figure out some way to be able to crack open armor. And don't tell me close combat and everything like that, because these things are always going really fast. And so they're really hard to take down. So the best weapons I could probably come up with are the Venom Cannons to glance and everything. But even then, it's tough to take on armor that's moving really fast when you are Tyranid. So I have to work out that strategy as well. <laughs> See, Joe says a winged tyrant, which means he wants me to go into close combat with it, which is when they're moving 12 inches and you have to hit on sixes, even if you get four or five attacks, it's really hard to pry open. So. We'll figure that out though. I'll figure out some anti-tank um, tactic, but it's gonna make the next games very difficult. It was a very good game. I'm glad at least one, one out of the four games. And I still don't feel that good about myself, you know, I lost so much. But uh, I'm starting to learn how to, how to kill Tyranids, slash little bugs. The game was pretty good. It was pretty tense throughout that last round. He was able to just pull out just tons of kill points out of nowhere. He, just, he finally realized what his death rollers were for and plowed through my Carnifexes and unloaded his guys and killed just so much right there. So maybe I'll present him with less kill points next. Because I did bring in three squads of warriors that are all just three. So maybe next time I'll just bring in one squad of nine warriors. Because if I'm bringing all gene stealers, I don't need synapse. So there's a lot of stuff for me to think out. Next time you see this, I'll talk about strategies of why I'm building my army the way I am so that I can counter what he's doing. Of course, he's going to develop a better army too, now seeing how effective his was. 
So that's it for me. It was a great game. I had a lot of fun. It's good.